You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a, uh, a little list. We're going to be doing the top five um, feuds of the year. Our own personal top five feuds of the yes, year. Yes, th- these are just our opinion. Absolutely. Taken very lightly. And if you disagree, you know... Let us know what you think yeah, with the we, top feuds of the year. We respect your opinion, and we'd like to hear it because, you know, you could open our eyes to something. Cause it's true. While we might think that we know what we're talking about, we are probably not as informed as some people. That is very true. So, uh, so, so yeah. yeah, let's get started. All right. Number five, SmackDown vs. Raw. Yes, uh, this is the lead-up to the Survivor Series match. Um, normally, or at least the la- uh, last year for sure, um, the feud buildup wasn't really that interesting. I think they just showed up once, right? It, no, it was a couple Well, once times. on each show, maybe? Yeah, it, yeah. it was a little lackluster. Um, this year was much more in-depth, mm-hmm. starting with a full-out invasion from uh, SmackDown onto Raw. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, because we did not just see it coming right no, away. No, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. And it, then it moved into the UK, where usually they're just throwaway shows, and we had so much happen on those yeah. shows. Yeah. You had um, you had the New Day costing the Shield their tag team titles. Mm-hmm. Um, Baron Corbin and the Miz's feud yep. on they like went... inside of the feud for their t- their match. Right. Yeah. The Twitter back and forth. Yeah. All of the the great um, tight uh, champion versus champion matches that happened at mm-hmm. Survivor Series. Yeah. This was probably one of the best builds in, and payoffs that we've seen in mm-hmm. quite some time unfortunately the main event didn't live, live up to the hype but that still didn't kill the feud no no no, no. no. because so, we knew it was going to be yeah it was <laughs> there was too much potential for the the people that they picked for the the five on five match yeah. just wasn't wasn't fitting for what it really was right but it did uh, add to the Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus uh, Shane McMahon feud. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of good going on within this one feud, and it built to other things as well. Um, Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's our opinion for number five. Yes. Number four, Seth and Dean versus The Bar. Yeah, this, uh, this one's been going on since, I think, uh, late, late July, yeah, early, early August. Yep. Um, these four are just so good together you took four established single stars and put them in tag teams pretty much yeah um and they all work great together they put on quality matches night in and night out Mm -hmm. which is made perfectly obvious because you either get the this tag team match or singles matches between like separate ones they've been thrown in with the miz and roman yep joe and uh now we're seeing Joe and Jason Jordan. Yeah, and... so the, the just the versatility mm-hmm. and the fact that it's not getting old and they're still you you feel you don't feel like you're watching the same thing over and over again. No, I mean they have gotten a little repetitive considering it's been, but it's been their go-to thing. They know yeah. they know week after week these guys are going to put on a good performance. And so there's been a number of Raws where they main evented. Mm-hmm. They main evented t- TLC. Yep. Um. So it's just. You know, it's quality stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And, and there hasn't been much, and certainly, well, there's one other, but in the tag division, it's been, certainly on Raw, it's been very stale. Yeah, absolutely. So having this as the anchor is certainly helps the the division yeah. as a whole. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, number three, Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, um, this one is more for Braun than it is for Roman. Right, but... I mean, bronze. I mean, Roman definitely put on some great matches oh, with. Well, but I mean, I'm, an elevation of yeah. yeah I was no, going to say this is this was more beneficial for Braun yeah. than it was for Roman. Mm-hmm. This took Braun from being a, a broading like big guy. Yep, a to, monster to being like the top, or maybe not the top heel, no, but, but one of the most dominant heels on mm-hmm. the on the roster yeah and yeah this it really has elevated him to the main event status on raw yeah and the fact that right now braun is while he is technical well, right now he's a face yeah um but even when he was still playing the heel people could get behind him because he had good you no know, good timing on his delivery, delivery yeah things. no absolutely um we had what 
cage. They had a cage match, right? They had a ca- they Raw. Had a- didn't, yeah, didn't Roman and yes, they did. Yeah, because that's when Kane came back. Yes, that's when Kane um, came back. They had Last Man Standing on Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, we had the ambulance match. Yeah, uh, there was a, what the the show that we went to where he uh, where he Braun tipped the ambulance over on, on Roman. <laughs> um, so it so much. And the best part was is that they kind of let it go for a little while and then picked it back yep. up and it was it was fine. Mm-hmm. This, it's been going on since the end of January. Mm-hmm. Uh, it started with uh, Braun Strowman kind of out of nowhere uh, costing Roman Reigns the Universal title yep. at the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they That's had true. a few pay-per-view matches. And then they stopped for WrestleMania for Roman to face The Undertaker. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they picked it up pretty much right after that. Yeah. And that's when the ambulance match happened. And right. Things so, like that. Yeah, no. And it then was, it was kind of brought up again in the SummerSlam main event mm-hmm. because the two of them were in there. Right, yeah. And they had... Uh, but it was still going throughout the uh, the TLC? Yeah. Well, because it was, but, it was and kind then of... And Roman got sick. And, yeah. yeah. Um, also, with the um, the match at... The, univer- uh, the Universal title match at SummerSlam, there was a lot of interaction, the, the Raws preceding it mm-hmm. between the two of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it, it's... While Roman obviously has always been, or at least recently, been a top guy, he the the work the two of them put together really elevated yep. them. Absolutely. Number two, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens. The two best friends breaking up. Yeah, now this one probably could have been number one as well, but this had only gone, what, four or five months into yeah. 2017? Um, th- this feud... Uh, well, it, it, it's not the feud, but Chris Jericho is yeah, it's just insane how just, he's reinvents himself every single yeah, time it, he comes back. It's just it's just so good. Um, this their I guess friendship started I think uh, August August or July of yeah, 2016. So yeah. yeah. Um, Kevin Owens insisted that Chris Jericho is his new best friend, mm-hmm. and then he started helping Owens win uh, his Universal Title matches. Yep. And then something like a switch flipped in yeah, like well, January. Owens also helped Jericho win the U.S. title yes. from Reigns. Yes. And then after that is... We had the Festival of Friendship, yes, and that's that was, when it went all downhill. Kevin Owens turned on Chris Jericho, mm-hmm. and that's when it all... Well, it's not when it all started, but no. that led to their WrestleMania mm-hmm. match. And they had so much built up that... Oh, yeah. Th- th- it was just perfect. Yeah. Um, that led to the when Kevin Owens used his like his, his, the one finger <laughs> to grab the rope during a, a pinfall yeah. attempt. To which Vince McMahon was not very happy with that match. Well, oh, under the three sixty five or the twenty four, whatever it was. The oh, was it, it was the three sixty five. Yeah, with Kevin Owens, he went up to Vince after the match and uh-huh. he said, "Are you happy with the match?" And he just said, "No." And he just kind of stood there. That was he said, it? Oh, you know, he said, "Are we good?" And Vince said, "No." Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. I'm surprised you haven't watched it. It was really good. I, I just I keep forgetting. That's yeah. what the problem is. Yep. And then um they had a good match at Payback, mm-hmm. which was I think one of Jericho's last matches. Yeah, this yeah. Year. That was when he won the championship back and yeah. then lost it on SmackDown. on SmackDown. And that's when Kevin Owens put Jericho out of yeah. commission. So and then one more time when uh, Owens was the US champion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jericho came back for a triple threat with him and AJ. Yeah, um, but, yeah, but this this was a great feud. The, they were the highlights of Raw and then and then SmackDown. Well, well, not Jericho really. It was just on one. Smackdown. Yeah, but um, Kevin Owens definitely elevated himself from this feud to be a main staple of SmackDown. Oh yeah, he's he's yeah. been the main story for yeah. the last six months. Yeah, uh, Jericho's list, which mm-hmm. didn't start with this feud no but it was a huge part, part of, of it absolutely yeah because at the festival of friendship he gave him a gift and mm-hmm. it wasn't the list of jericho it was the list of owens mm-hmm. or the list of ko yes and that's when you knew why is that. my name on this yeah <laughs> so it was it was good yes the, the writing on it was great mm-hmm. they played it, it was, off it was their best work probably yeah. to date yeah so and, it, uh, it was good stuff yeah that brings us to number one the New Day versus the Usos. Yeah, um, the new uh, the Usos. They completely reinvented themselves. They went from being 
like a throwaway tag team when the when the brand split happened mm-hmm. to being probably one of the best acts. I hated the Usos. I could, yeah. I had no, no interest in watching them on TV. Yeah. They changed their gimmick around, and what what a change. Yeah. Uh, honestly, at first, I didn't wasn't a big fan of their new gimmick. Because I didn't care about them before that, but it was and I thought the so new much one was more realistic. It, That's the thing. It's true, uh, but at first I kind of thought it was just a little annoying because mm-hmm. it's like over the top. But now they've kind of like learned who they are. Yeah, it's really it, and it's just it's so good. Mm-hmm. And add them the new day, and the dynamic that the two teams put together. Absolutely, quality matches week in and week mm-hmm. out. They they made the SmackDown Live uh, tag division like the strongest yeah. part of that mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Granted, not a lot of competition in terms of like the other things going on. Right. But the the three months that these two teams they put on there was uh the, their fir- they had the match at the Money in the Bank mm-hmm. where um the New Day won the titles from the Usos. Yes, that was great. Um, they had matches at Battleground. Mm-hmm. The, the surprise Slam. win over the, the the Usos won over at uh, SummerSlam. Yeah, on the pre-show. On the pre-show, and that things. match definitely stood out. Oh, that was the best. Yeah, that one was of probably, the best matches on the card. Yeah. yeah. Um, they had the Hell in a Cell match. That was fantastic. That yeah. was probably one of the best matches of the year. Yeah, absolutely, match of the year. It was Atlanta. brutal, which is something you usually don't expect yeah. from a tag team match. Mm-hmm. And. The feud kind of had a beginning, a middle, and an end. The Absolutely. two came to respect each other. Yeah, and, and that's, that's, that's where it ended. It yeah. didn't just end, oh, one that was, that. One was over the yeah. other. Yeah. It was, okay, we're good. Yeah, absolutely. And now they're allies, which is strange. But, mm-hmm. you know, it, it makes sense. It, it's all making sense. Cause but the best part is they can just pick this up whenever. Exactly. Because what you did was, ending it that way, you, you that... That handshake that they had mm-hmm. on that SmackDown after I guess Hell on the cell. cell, yeah, they um, that turned the Usos face, and that lets you know other other teams play the heel role, right? Like yeah, right now, Sh- Shelton Benjamin and Chad, uh, Chad Gable, Gable mm-hmm. they're not inherently heels. We assume right. they're going to be faces, but it lets them be more aggressive and mm-hmm. it makes them look better. Yeah, and the Usos they can continue being who they are. But they're still, but now they're the good guys, right? And you know they and they're over, so it's a lot easier for them to, you know, they have wiggle room. Absolutely. So uh, I I think that the new day really elevated the Usos on top of what all the work the that they had done before done themselves. that. Yeah, absolutely. So it, it it was I would say yeah, few of the year. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, uh, yeah, we'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section. Let us know if. What you would change and uh, your own feuds of the year. Yes. And uh, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.